as you get older, you like to try to think of different exercises you can do for your mind to keep your mind active. Here's one that you can do at home. It uses a couple of things that uh, you can find at McDonald's or anywhere you want to go. It's just a straw. Uh, now, if you have four of these, you can do something really fun uh, that is uh, a kind of a test of your creative thinking. Uh, Claudia, would you give this a try with me? Uh, first, all you need to do is light a match. With a match, you take two straws and you touch the tips. You use those to melt together to form kind of a, a letter V. This becomes the first part. Part two is to use another straw and balance it so it looks like a pyramid. Makes kind of a pyramid. Now notice these two are attached. This one's separate. Try to use this one and try to pick up all three of them together. You can use any method that you want. Just try to see if you can pick them all up at one time without folding the straw. Whenever you have a problem, a puzzle, or something you're looking at, if you imagine that you're sitting in a room and you have multiple doors in front of you, uh, and you have to decide which door do you want to go down to start looking for a solution. Uh, and if I wanted to deceive you, I should create another door that doesn't even lead you to a right solution. And it but needs to seem plausible enough that that tempts you into that door. And you can try this if you want to. You can try it, like trying to suck through the straw, pushing it, whatever you want to do. It's an interesting thing because people say try to think outside the box. With this one, sometimes it's better to think of what's in the box so you don't miss the solution. <laughs> you got two of them. All right. So there's a puzzle that I do like that, where I give you a red herring, uh, something that draws you in that direction, so that by the time that you realize that you've went down a dead end, you have to come all the way back to the room and start all over again and put you way behind. And uh, that's very uh, important for the work that I do. So balancing it from the edge, if we use one straw, this is what it looks like. And when I did this and told you to suck through the straw or push through, that was just trying to get you to go in the wrong direction. It wasn't the real solution. You were very close with thinking about going in here. This is what you use. You use the side of it and you push against this one to drop down. You let it catch and now you pick up all three together. I see. It's kind of a fun solution. Now you have a good way to get a free drink. <laughs>